Wait a minute. I thought this band was supposed to suck. Guess that shows how different opinions can be, huh? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Cinema Scene 77, and welcome to album two of the four we need to review today. Uh, last time we reviewed the All Time Low album, Tell Me I'm Alive, and now we're taking a look at the latest album from Pop Evil called Skeletons. Now this is a band I have a little bit more familiarity with, I'll say. Not experience, familiarity. Because my mom actually got me introduced to this band because she has one of their albums. I think it's the self-titled one. And when she plays it on the radio during car rides and stuff like that, I ended up really liking it. Like, it was different, yes, but it sounded pretty good and I quite enjoyed it. But I haven't really had the incentive to check out the rest of their stuff, especially lately, because from what I heard, their last album was abysmal garbage, so. Going into this one, I had middling expectations, but, uh, I'm probably going to get a lot of shit from this from some other movie, not movie critics, music critics out there. But, um, this album's actually pretty good. Like, it's not super good, it's not amazing good, it's not great. But it's actually pretty good. I had a really good time with it, actually. So, let's do what we always do. Let's start with the track breakdown. And this time, I'm going to go backwards. We're going to talk about the bad stuff first and save the good stuff for last, because the good stuff in here is really fucking good. So, let's start with the bad stuff. Uh, Circles is, is bad. Circles is bad. It's not quite garbage, but it's bad. Drone Direction is... Mostly just boring. And that, uh... That, uh, Trap Skitter breakdown in the middle of the song can go to hell. And Dead Reckoning is also bad, but more in a boring dull way. And then for the OK tracks, we have Paranoid, which was, I believe, one of the singles on the album. And it's OK. It has good production, but... A lot like the all-time low album, it kind of suffers in the writing department. Sound of Glory uh, sounds like a, you know, a rip-off of Imagine Dragons. Like, that can't just be just me getting that vibe. Not to mention, this is one of the poppier songs on the album, and it's a bit annoying, but it's not horrible. I've heard worse. And Who Will We Become? Simply because of that damn trap skater. If they threw that out of there, I wouldn't mind it as much. Wait, actually, let me let me get that. Let me rephrase that. Dead Reckoning is shit. <laughs> it is. It fit features Fit for a King, a band that I'm usually okay with, but here was just terrible screamer rock with techno with techno instrumentation. Just, fuck no, garbage. No. And then what, who will become has that trap skitter? So yeah, that's the okay songs. Now for the four songs that are not just good, they're really fucking good. So, uh, let's start with my second favorite of the album, Eye of the Storm. Easily the best of the singles, like, easily the best of the singles. It is such a good track. Skeletons, the self-titled track, is probably my favorite of the whole album. It just really feels like it came from the album that my mom listens to. Like I said, it might be the self-titled one, it might be a different one, but I know it's one of their older albums, and it sounded a lot like this. And Skeletons really sounds a lot like that, not to mention the beat is really good. It's just such a damn good song. And then Worth It's also really good, too. And then Raging Bull, I'd say, is just good. It has a few things I don't like. It has a techno breakdown in the middle of it that's a bit annoying, as well as an outro. That's also Technico, and it's also a bit annoying, but outside of that, pretty good. So, yeah, Skeletons and Eye of the Storm are the two best ones on the album, and then Worth It is a nice third. So, yeah, I actually had a pretty good time with this one. I'm legit surprised. The 6 to 4 ratio from good to bad, like, it's surprising. It's legit surprising. I was not expecting to like this album this much, but yeah, pretty good. Pretty good overall. I Have the Storm Skeletons are definitely going to be on my best rock and metal songs of the year. 
Worth It probably will be on there as well. Probably not Raging Bull. That's one of those songs that's good to listen to with the whole album itself. But by itself, it's just passable. It's decent. So, yeah, I ended up really enjoying this album. And if that gets me crucified in the comments section, then so fucking be it. My opinion. Uh, my final work for this album is going to be a 7 out of 10. This is actually a pretty good album, and I had a good time. Like I said, Eye of the Storm Skeletons are by far the two best ones on the album. Those songs are legit great. And then Skip, Dead Reckoning, and Circles. Well, Skip, Circles, Dead Reckoning, and Wrong Direction. Skip all three of those. The rest, I'd say listen to. But who knows, maybe you feel differently, I don't know. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this review. This is a good album overall, and I'm glad I gave it a chance. So, probably not a best album of the year contender, especially with Luke Holmes and August Burns Red right around the corner, but it should still be at least in the top 20. So, I don't know, we'll wait and see what happens. But until the next review, which is the return of you 2 Yes, that band. Uh, till that review, thanks for watching. I'm Jack Smalley, only sent up with Saint 77. See you for the next review. Peace. Okay, I actually just looked, and it turns out that that T-Pain album I was supposed to review today is a cover. It's a cover album. Damn it. Okay. Um, I guess that'll be all the reviews for today, then. So, uh, guess I'll have to think of something to try and make up for it. Keep your notification bell on. I think you're going to like what I try to come up with.